Hello, I'm Jason. Welcome to this lesson of the AC Circuit Analysis Tutor. In the last section, we went over this board where we covered very, very fundamental things. All of our AC sources, measurements, currents, everything in the circuit is going to look like a cosine. It's going to have an angular frequency, which would be related to the regular frequency just by this easy relation here. It has an amplitude, which is the height. And the only thing we haven't talked about is this phase angle thing. And I want to talk about that right now. It'll take just a few minutes. It's not hard to understand, but let's go ahead and start by just rewriting what we have so we don't have to flip back and forth to that other board. So we have maximum Vm, which is the amplitude, cosine omega t plus some phase angle phi, right? So what we want to talk about, and I'm going to write it down here, is this guy, phase angle. So I'll say phase angle. Has a cool sounding name, um, not very hard to understand. We measure that, or we signify that in circuits with phi, kind of looks like theta on its side. And this tells where we start measuring on the cosine. Another way to look at it is you could say that it um, shifts the cosine function left or right. And again, I've mentioned that before, the phase angle does the shifting left and right, but a picture's worth a thousand words, as we say, so let's go ahead and show it, uh, and I think you'll understand. So let's draw a regular cosine. So let me draw this here, right? Not even going to put any labels, it doesn't really matter. A regular cosine starts at the top, and then comes down and up, down and up. See, there's no shift. This is what a cosine looks like. If you go to your calculator and say plot cosine theta, right? You just change what's inside the cosine and you plot it. It always starts up here and then it goes down and up from there. So this would be the case when there is no phase angle. Phase angle is zero. So in other words, if, well, let me just get back to that in just a second. If, if there's no phase angle or no phase shift is another way to talk about it, just the regular old cosine function, it looks like the standard thing that you would get. Now let's draw another one when we have a phase angle. So if we have something like this, and we, let's say we do a positive phase angle. So we say a positive phase angle like this, what is it going to look like? Well, I'll just kind of cut to the punchline here. It's basically going to look like this. Now, do you see the difference between these two things? The peak up here starts at the or kind of at the uh, origin right there. That's where the peak is. But here, it's not.